Hi, year six, how are you? Miss Marisol is back. Okay, our lesson for today is all about number sequence. Let's talk all about our objectives first. So students should be able to list down the next numbers or the next missing num terms of a sequence by following a rule. And apply your knowledge about sequence to solve word problems related to real life situation. Let's talk about number sequence first. What are number sequence? Number sequence is a set of numbers which follows a certain rule or pattern. So <clears throat> consecutive numbers is a series of numbers or things that follow certain order. So remember this one, sequence can be made by adding, so meaning the rule, okay? It can be adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing a number. Now let's work on this one. List down the next five terms of this sequence. Remember uh, year six that terms means these numbers here. This is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, Okay, or we can say this is the, uh, the number that is uh, <clears throat> in the sequence are the terms of a sequence, okay? So we have here the first example, three, six, nine, 12. What do you think will be the next terms? So the first thing you have to do is you have to know the rule. So, we are going to subtract the second term minus the first term. So six minus three is three. So is it going to be addition or subtraction? You can see that the numbers are increasing, okay? Or it's ascending order. So three, six, nine, 12. So the numbers are increasing. Therefore, we are going to add it's time, okay? So the rule, the rule here is add three, it's time, all right? So that means when we will add three, it's time, after 12, it will be 15, 18, again, plus three, so 21 and plus three, 24, and the last number will be 27, okay? Simple as that. So therefore now we have completed our um, sequence, okay? Because they were asking next five terms. So we have to add five terms after the 12. So again, I will repeat, you are going to check the first and second if what is the rule? If you cannot still find the rule from the first and second term, you can go to the third term also to check. Now let's move to the next. So since I said, um, so here, if you have given only two, so eight and then 16, we can say 16 minus eight, it can be, it can be uh, an, okay? So 16 minus eight, equals eight, okay? So meaning, and it's going up, then the rule will be, <clears throat> rule is uh, eight, it's time. Okay? So now what will be here? Eight and then 24, 32, uh, 40, 48, and 56, all right? So this is how to do the sequence. Now, would you mind to check this one by yourself? Then we will answer. Okay. So if you notice, this is still going decreasing order. 
81, 72, 63. What do you think is uh, the rule? Is it subtraction or addition? So it will be subtraction because the sequence is decreasing. So again, we have to subtract. You know, when we subtract always the greater number minus the smaller number, isn't it? So this will be nine. So since it is decreasing, the rule will be subtract nine each time. Okay, then this will be now 54, 45, 36, 27. And then what do you think is the last one? It will be 18. Okay. Now this one, if you notice, all the denominators are the same. So, and it is decreasing, A20 minus 18 is two. So we are going to subtract two to the numerator only by two each time. So this will be now 14, uh, 12, 10, 8, 6, and all the numerator, denominator will be 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20. Okay, it's very easy, isn't it? Now let's move to the next question. How about here? Write the first five terms of this sequence. We start from two, add six each time. So would you mind to create or list down the sequence by following the rules? Just write five terms. You can pause your video and then answer. Then you have to check your answer later, okay? All right, let's do now. So I start from two, then add six each time. So we started from two. So, and then you add six, so it will be eight. Again, add six, it will be 14. Again, add six equals 20. And the last one will be 26. So this is the sequence, the first five terms of this rule, okay? Let's check another example. It start from 72 and subtract five each time. You can pause your video and answer first and then you check later your answers. All right, so check your answer, please. So always write the starting number. What is the starting number? 72. Then we need to subtract five each time. So 67, then 62, 57, and then 52. Is that easy? I hope you understand. Now let's solve some more problem. <laughs> okay, answer this now. Write the first five terms again of the sequence. Multiply four each time is starting from three. First five terms only starting from three. Post your video, then answer. Okay, so check your answer now. So let's start from three meaning our starting number is three. And what did it say here? Multiply by four. Okay, it says multiply by four. So three times four is 12. 12 times four is 48. Again, 48 times four, it will be 192. Let's need, we need one more because it needs five terms. So, 192 times four is 768. Okay, last question is start from 124 divide by two. So post your video and answer. Okay, check your answer now. Let's start with 124 and then you need to divide by two. So 124 divided by two is 62. 62 divided by two is 31, 31 divided by two is 15.5, and then 15.5 divided by two is 7.75. Since you have learned already how to divide, 
using decimal, num decimal numbers, then this is already the answer. Okay, I want you to answer in your page. Your student book, okay? A student book, page 140, question three, okay? You can try. Now, so as I explained to you before, okay, so write down the next three numbers in its pattern. So you have to subtract three minus one. Okay, so three minus one is two. Therefore, the rule is add two. Why it is add two? So we need to add two each time because it is increasing. So one, three, five, seven, what will be the next? Yes, nine, and then 11, and then 13. Okay. Now let's, okay, letter B, it's very easy. 125, 124, 123, 122, what will be the next? So that, that means to say it is only subtracting by one each time. So it will be 121, 120, and 119, okay? Now, how about this? So it is very obvious, zero, two, four, six. So that means 206, 210, and 212. How about this one, letter D? Okay, pause your video before you're going to continue first. All right, let's answer together. So seven minus three is four. Therefore, the rule is add four each time, isn't it? Because it is increasing. So this will be, so remember, this will be add four each time. It's the rule add four each time. So that will be easy now. So meaning add four, okay? So, 15 plus 4, 19, then plus 4, 23, and plus 4, 27, okay? And this is 45 minus 35 is 10, and it is increasing, therefore we will add 10 each time. So 75, and then, eight, then 85, then 95, okay? And this is 10, 20, 40, 80. What do you notice here? Can you tell me now? So 10 and then 20 and then 40 and then 80. So it's like doubling or this is, the rule is double or times two, okay? So the next term will be 80, 160, then 320 and then 640. Now, so 900, 850, 800, can you tell me what will be the answer here? So 900 minus 850 is 50, meaning we are subtracting 50 each time. So therefore 800 minus 50 is 750, then 700, then 650. And this is 800, 400, 200, what do you think it is? Yes, it is having. So meaning we are we are going to divide by two. So two hundred divided by two, one hundred. One hundred. One hundred divided by two is fifty. Fifty divided by two is twenty-five. Very good. I hope you understand the lesson now. How to make or how to write the next three numbers of a sequence or pattern by what is it? You're going to check the first and second terms and then to find the rule so that you can complete the sequence. Okay, year six, I hope this is very easy for you now. Okay, let's go to the last question now. Let's solve this problem. Lena has, has skipped four BD each day in a week. 
She made the list how much she has each day. So, okay, so for BD, 8 BD, 12 BD, 16 BD. So let's investigate how much you will have on the seventh day. So four, eight, 12, 16. So we have already day one, day two, day three, day four. So we need three more, okay? So what is the rule? Each day she is earning, what is it? So eight minus four, it will be four. So every day there's an additional of four BD. So we can write, so we can write, this is the next one. So 16 BD plus four BD is 20 BD. So that is already the day five. We need more, so 24. So what will be in the seventh day? So she has 30 BD, okay? Because every day she's earning additional four BD. So the answer, she has 30 BD on the seventh day. Understood now? So how we are going to find the rule of how we are going to complete the sequence? You need to find the rule by subtracting the first and second digit. So this will be eight minus four. So the rule is add four each time until you will complete the required number of sequence. Okay, I hope you understand this lesson. You can watch the video many times until you will, you, you understand how to complete the next terms. Okay, bye for now, year six. We will continue the next lesson. See you later. Bye.